When I am not depressed in school or doing dumb stuff with my mates, I am actually programming. And everyone knows that programmers are only machines which turn coffee into code. So naturally, my coffee consumption is quite high. I consume anywhere from 3 to 7 cups a day, and thus during my better days. While I do love all of my coffee equally, I secretly prefer the morning one because it turns me from a zombie into a usable human being within seconds. The problem with morning coffee is that to make it, it requires some basic motoric skills, which I don't possess so early in the morning. So one day I decided that I want to end my morning misery and started the ever so dangerous task of thinking. And after a while of thinking, I concluded that the best way to realize this task would be to have some sort of a pressure plate next to my bed, which would activate the coffee machine in the morning. But since they haven't taught us redstone in school yet, an Arduino with a LoRa board and a servo will have to suffice. The next order of business is to get a coffee machine which I can turn on using only one servo. I do have one here, but it's just unbelievably disgusting. And before I put my precious coffee anywhere near it, I will have to clean it. Now that it's survivable, I need to figure out how to attach the servo to the coffee machine. And I think we all know the answer to this one. And we'll do the same thing with this Arduino, but I'll give it this fancy 3D printed case. So now that it looks only a little bit like a suicide bomb, I can start working on the code. The code is nothing to write home about, but it will do its job just fine. And after flashing the firmware of my 35 year old coffee machine, it was time to create the pressure plate part. Since I can't pull blocks from Minecraft into the real world, trust me, I tried, I'll have to improvise. You see, I've got one of these. It's a DDR dance pad. Well, I'm not the best DDR player in the world. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm the worst one in all of existence. But I'm glad I tried, because I now have something that kinda works like a pressure plate. So for the pressure plate part, I'll be using this, a Raspberry Pi 2B with a LoRa board. And after connecting this bad boy up and praying that this antique coffee machine doesn't burn down the house while I'm sleeping, I decided to hit the sack. <laughs> 